step number two g m b h p b is equal to uh, three point five and four percent. Now I have tabulated their values. I have tabulated their values. Just I will give you the value for your understanding, and uh, I will not do this any more calculation. Just you will have to follow upon this. You know I have taken that sample. Now the identification uh, name given to the sample is S seven, S eight, and S nine. Now we have measured the dry weight like this one. This is the this is the dry condition. No? At this time when we are weighing it on the balance, this is known as the dry weight. So for the first sample, twelve ninety five point one. For the second sample, twelve ninety five point three, and for the third sample. 1294.8 these are the, the dry weight now what is our next step we have put all these three samples into the water for time 4 plus minus 1 minute with this time pass we are going to measure their weight in water for the first sample 8787.2 for the second sample 789.1 and for the third sample 786.9 so so these are the weight of the sample in water now we will take out the sample and we will try to bring the sample into ssd condition when we have brought the sample into ssd condition there we are measuring their weight in ssd condition for the first sample 1295.8 for the second sample 1296.3 and for the third sample 1295.6 this is now another ssd weight but mark my word this ssd weight which i have represented by b over here b should always be greater than a if this condition is not satisfied it means there is something wrong so this should always be greater than this one and when anything is immersion water it is going to lose the weight that is why it's written over here now This SSD minus weight in water means B minus C e is going to give us the volume. So for the first specimen, volume coming from the subtraction of B minus C e is equal to five zero eight point six, five zero seven point two, and five zero eight point seven. As I have already explained to you that we will make the division between A. Over B minus C, so this is my value A, twelve ninety five point one, and this is a B minus C, five zero eight point six. After dividing, we are getting two point five forty six. Similarly, for this value, twelve ninety five point three divided by five zero seven point two. After dividing, we will get two point five five four. And third one, this twelve ninety four point eight. Divided by five zero eight point seven, we are getting two point five forty five, and the average of these three is two point five forty nine. So, so this average we have to consider. We are not going to consider the individual drug. We will take the average. Now, for my <coughs> next bituminous content, four <coughs> percent. The sample identification name is given ten, eleven, and twelve. After that, this is the dry weight of the first sample, twelve ninety seven point three, thirteen point two, twelve ninety eight point five, and when they are put in water for time three to five minute, then we measure their weight in water for the first sample, seven ninety three point two, seven ninety four point six, and seven ninety five. These are the weight of the sample in the water. Now we are taking out the water. We are measuring their SSD weight because additional water need to be removed in order to bring in the SSD condition. For the first sample, weight comes out to be twelve ninety nine point two. For the second sample, thirteen zero one point six and thirteen hundred point two. These are the, the three weight. Now same as I have told you, this value and this value, these are being subtracted. You know it is the simple given that B minus C. 
After getting this value minus this value, we are going to get 506. This value minus this value, we are going to get 507. This value minus this value, we are going to get 505.2. Now you see, we have taken this volume and we know the drive rate. Again, we will go to this equation A over B minus E. Here I would like to tell you, this is my value A. 1297.3 divided by 506, we are going to get 2.564. This is the value A, 13.2, it's being divided by 507, we are going to get uh, 2.564. This is the 1298.5, it's going to get divided by 505.2 and we are going to get this value. 2.570 and their average is taken into consideration which is given over here. So, so uh, uh, next to my bitumen content are also completed. So, so please, uh, you will have to see all this table. Please, if you want to learn it very well, whatever the value I am giving you over here, these are the true and real value, please follow them. Then it will be easy for you to understand all the mixed signs. So, so, thank you. If you have any comment, please let me know. Because now I am going to start my next two bitumen content, 4.5% uh, and 5%. So in this way, the determination of GMB for compacted specimen will be completed.